Hi everybody, this is Siti Readings and hi Scorpio. How are you guys doing? Let's see what messages want to show up for you. In case this reading resonates, there will be a link in the description box to the extended where we will talk more about the person you're connecting with, their thoughts and feelings of you, uh, for you. Future actions and general messages like what blessings may be coming your way, what challenges. So do have a look. It will be linked below for you guys. Okay. All right. Show me what I need to see for... Um, Scorpio. Also, towards the end of the reading, I will be picking out handwritten notes from your person. So stick around until the end for that. What's helping or hindering you, Four of Cups, with that Page of Swords? Scorpio, I feel like a lot of you are very dissatisfied in regards to a particular situation. You're wanting to change things and like... It's like a situation being stagnant is just now getting to you. It's like you don't want to <clears throat> you don't want to be a part of this situation. So it's like the change that you want to cultivate, you're working towards it. Um for some of you, you were in a relationship where you felt like very dissatisfied or even though there was love, you felt like there was something missing. And there is that constant feeling of, oh, there has to be a better outcome for me than this. So some of you could be learning something new these days, or you could be thinking about letting go of a person or a relationship or a, you know, a, just any situation in which you felt with that four of cups, a little bit bored, honestly, you got tired of something. <clears throat> It's like something is just too vanilla for you, okay? And you're not about that. Yeah, with that fool card, trying to let go, trying to, you know, move towards something new. Your energy is very free-spirited, okay? Some of you could also be going on a journey or like traveling this month. And I also feel like something's gonna go in your favor. Oh, the death card. Wow, this is beautiful because the death and the fool card, it's a very powerful combination. This I can already tell that this reading is very powerful because I feel like for a lot of you, you are ready for this change. And you know <clears throat> deep down inside that there is a lot that I need to change. There is a lot that I need to just let go of. And you're ready for it. You know, you're not beating around the bush. You're not just brushing things under the rug. You're really addressing what needs to be addressed. You're not scared to express your feelings. Some of you may have told this person that, hey, this is what I want and this is what is missing in the connection. I see you being very straight up and honest. And even if you're not being it with another person, being like this with another person, you're being honest with yourself or something is becoming very clear for you. Like this is something I want and this is something I do not want. Six of Cups, Devil lovers so there's somebody you share a soulmate connection with possibly even karmic okay more karmic than soulmate it is seeming like but the thing here is that i feel like scorpio you're over this you're over this okay now you're not really willing to look at the memories or the time you've spent it's like if it's leaving you so depleted you just don't want it you don't care about the memories or how long you've known this person for so again is it's a very powerful energy because you're ready for change <clears throat> what happened in the past for scorpio do hit the like button when you guys join yeah it's like Scorpio, you constantly had to figure out what, when, how, and what is this, okay? Nine of Swords, so much stress, energy is coming from the past, not knowing what is this about, not knowing if this is even something worth my time. 
you just felt like you were wasting your time on somebody. And I'm being real honest with you, okay? Your future energy, Seven of Pentacles. I like it. I like it. So you're figuring things out. Seven of Pentacles is like, I want to grow. I want to expand. So let's see where I should invest my time, money, energy, resources. Some of you are also thinking about investing money somewhere or like growing your business, starting a new job or something like that. Okay. Um... <clears throat> And I also feel like your finances are going to improve, but you may need to pay attention to something more than before, especially when it comes to your finances. Your energy, two of cups. Nice. Hmm. For single Scorpios out there, I really feel like you're attracting somebody because it's like in your hopes, you already know something is not worth it and you've made up your mind to leave the situation be. I mean, you don't like it, but you, you it's like a decision that you have to make because it's not fulfilling enough for you. What is the outcome? King of Wands. Your challenge, seven of wands. Your advice, five of cups. What is something that makes you sad? <clears throat> it's time to release that pain. Your, your, um, your challenge here has something to do with releasing pain from the past. Four of Wands is your overall energy. So in the month of March, Scorpio, I see you creating a lot of harmony, balance, stability, perhaps at home, in a connection, or generally in your life. Okay, with that Four of Wands, this is harmony. This is also celebration. Some of you could be going to an event or a party. Uh, Eight of Cups, see you're walking away from something, emotionally withdrawing from something. And that Two of Cups, I'm seeing as you connecting with your higher self or um, listening to your higher self with that two of cups. Why is that two of cups here? <clears throat> oh, 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 uh, uh, oh, ace of cups. You know, Scorpio, this reading is really about you. Like when you're listening to your intuition and you're doing things that benefit you as a person or as a soul, it uplifts your soul. It's like everything is falling back into place. With that Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups, some of you are connecting with a brand new person, okay? And you're leaving something behind and you're starting a new cycle in love. Very, very beautiful energies are coming up for you guys, okay? Very beautiful. What is that three of wands for the person coming towards Scorpio? Ooh, the seven of cups and the temperance. Scorpio, you may have options in love in the month of March. This could be a Sagittarius, a Scorpio, a Gemini, Virgo, Pisces that you're connecting with. I feel like you're going to be with somebody new. Okay, three of cups. It's like you, maybe you're going to be going to an event or a party or just like connecting with friends and with your friends, you may have like mutual friends, okay? Mm. 
What's that? Seven of Wands. <clears throat> Four of Swords. So your challenge here has something to do with taking a break from something or giving your mind a break. Some of you may need to rest and, you know, take a step back from something because it's like trying too hard all the time. It often leads us very drained. So spirit is telling you to take a step back to reevaluate something perhaps. And perhaps even focus on... Um, Focus on yourself more. Focus on your mental health more. Okay. having boundaries that is what it's talking about as well because i feel like okay what is that eight of swords yeah i feel like oftentimes in trying to make peace in a situation you lost yourself but eight of swords and the moon together is a lot of stress and anxious energy of not knowing where something is heading of just not being sure of something and it's very tiring very draining who is this King of Wands coming towards Scorpio? Oof, the Emperor Major Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. I feel like you're also going to be taking back control. Some of you may have Aries placements. Because it's like with that Emperor, you're showing up as somebody who's ready to take the lead. And who's ready to take responsibility for something. And I feel like you were doing that even before. But in the month of March, it's like you're getting a boost of self-confidence. <clears throat> but just your advice here is to let go of something that hurts you. Some of you have had family issues growing up. Or there's some issues with a relationship. There is some negative energy you need to release. Cheater, be cautious. There may be somebody who cheated on you in the past. So be careful. They may show up again. You both are still in love. Hmm, there's still love between you and them. But I don't feel like you're going to go back. Especially if there was something wrong with the connection and the person. Thinking about you all the time. Renewal. Shocking. Surprising. So for a lot of you, what I'm getting here is that there's some form of renewal coming in your life in the month of March. Something very shocking or surprising is also going to happen. Renewal energy means a lot of things are getting... It's like hitting that reset and restart button for yourself. But there's somebody here who's thinking about you all the time. Mm. <clears throat> Show me what I need to see for Scorpio. Scorpio, I will link your extended down below if you're interested. Also, your Soulmate 2023 reading will be in the description box. <clears throat> Addiction, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling. Some of you were in a relationship where you got addicted to the other person. Or it's like somebody here was very controlling, very manipulative. Abundance. But I feel like you're okay. So the thing here is that you're breaking free from something toxic. And as you're doing so, you, you're creating more space for what is truly meant for you. Keeping a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. So that's about it, Scorpio. Those were the messages that showed up for you. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. And check out the extended link in the description box below if you are interested. Take care and bye-bye.